Hello guys, it's Jill again and we're going out to the Shark Island. We were here three years ago, that's when this piece of film was made, and we're going to take a look. We went out about a month ago just before lockdown and I wanted to see what had actually changed. Look at the number of barracuda in the water. On our way, of course, we spotted something, had to stop the boat. Hey, you have two whales, two. Sometimes on our way out to the islands, we see whales. This is the breeding ground. The Indian Ocean is the breeding ground for the humpback whales, and here they are. Lucky we saw them. The boat's quite fast and we don't worry about fuel, we just go. It's a really great ride. It's a fast adrenaline rush, 45 minutes and you're into the sharks. We drop into the shark pit. This is a giant trevally. There's a whole school of them here. It's really amazing. These fish are huge. Hiding amongst the cracks in the cave are big eyes. They develop very large eyes because, of course, they live in the dark, so they need them to see. Usually there's a very strong current, today there isn't. But look at that shoal, there's a whole shoal on the right there of Big Eye. And the Trevally keep wanting to have their pictures taken. But we're looking for sharks, guys, come on, get out of the way. <laughs> Bernard spotted something on the wall. It's a special species of coral that only seems to grow here. We haven't identified it yet, and I haven't had a marine biologist around to tell us what it is, but it's amazing stuff. Okay, here we are. We're into the shark pit. Where are the sharks? Plenty of trevally. There's one. There's one. Now, we don't know whether there are fewer or whether it's because there's not a lot of current. If you look at the rocks, you'll see there's no coral growing on them and you're able to leopard crawl in a very strong current along the rocks to hold your position while you watch the sharks because they come into this cavern to sleep. They're not hunting. None of the fish are worried. Nobody's scared. Everybody's hanging out because there's a washing machine current undercut the island. It's truly spectacular diving and it's really worth a shot. Oh, here's one. We've seen one in open water now. That's great. This is our first dive and we've got a second one coming up. See how relaxed he is. He's not running away from me. He's not afraid of me. It's so great. Look at that. We hop back onto the boat to change our tanks, to get a drink of water, to have a break. That's our skipper in the yellow jacket. His name's Giovanni. Multilingual, very bright man. Speaks fluent German. He spent eight years in Germany. You'd be gobsmacked at the qualifications of the Mauritians. Most Mauritians speak at least three languages, some of them four. Those are gâteau primant. Everybody has those between dives. Slow release energy. Now we're going in for the second dive, which is on the wall. We're heading towards the wall and this chap swam into view, so I filmed him and followed him and followed the rest of the divers. You'll see there's not a lot of coral growth here, partly because of the very strong current, but also partly because for the last two years, we've had Japanese fishing trawlers fishing around the Mauritius waters. And unfortunately, economically, they like to try and fish as close to the factory, which is in Mauritius, as they can get. And they're helping themselves to a lot of our fish. We're afraid for the sharks, and we're afraid for the future of the fishing industry here, the artisanal fishing industry. Because the little guys with their boats and their rods come here to fish, and they can't. Take a look at that spectacular drop-off. That is the wall. It's covered in beautiful sea fans. There's where we saw all those giant 
Barracuda in the first bit of the film. Take a look. It looks as though he's on his own. Either the rest have all been fished out, or he's a rogue male. Here we have plenty of fish. These are algae eaters. They're surgeon fish. They come along and they scuff up all the algae that's growing on the corals, which is great. So it's a healthy looking reef. The divers are enjoying themselves and it's been a beautiful day. And we're going to finish it off with a picnic on Il Platt. The guys are organizing the food. They've carried some of the boxes to the shore. We wade out to the island and look at this. Isn't it beautiful? And we're having lunch here. The whole group, beer, glass of wine, snacks, bit of chicken, gorgeous. Just what you need after a day's diving. Then we've got another 35 minute boat trip back to the dive center. And look at those faces. Everybody's had such a great time. It was a fabulous dive. It really was, and it's so worth it. We're hoping that you'll watch these videos with understanding of what an island like Mauritius needs. It needs protection. The European Union is in control of the waters and they police what's going on. But quite often they can't get here and there's always a problem with overfishing. So we're trying to stop that as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Cheers, guys.